Move in towards the center, please. Thank you. Miigwech Pinigigi. Wawanen. There you go. All right, let's give our ladies one more big round of applause. These ladies dance two songs in a true spirit of sportsmanship. Th thanking each other, wishing each other well, setting a fine, fine example for all of our little ones watching out there in Indian country. All right, we have our senior men's traditional. Black Bear, our youth drum is gonna have the first song. We've been waiting, waiting for our judges. We have all of our judges in place. Waiting for young Joe Young to uh, make sure our judges are here. Let's, all right, two songs. You're going to have two songs. Midnight, you're going to have song number two for our senior men's traditional. All right, we got our judges in place. Take it away, Black Bear. Give these guys an uh, give these guys an opportunity to get a drink of water if they wish, and we're gonna go to midnight for song number two for our senior men's traditional. Once again, these men are dancing traditional style as they've been been passed down through many, many, many centuries. A lot of their outfits or colors represent a lot of things in our societies, in our cultures, our territories, our traditions, our tribes in our societies where we come from. So these guys dancing in more of a traditional manner. So keep that in mind. These guys are 36 to 49 year olds. Many of them dancing since they've been walking. All right, Ronnie says, take it away. Midnight, contest time. Take it away, senior men's traditional. Oh, ah.
round of applause. Let's give these boys. Wow, beautiful. What a spectacle. Spectacular dancing. All right, boys, line up. Make sure the judges can just move back just a little bit. Move back. Dancers, just about a step or so, so the judges can see your numbers. I would thank you, our host, Midnight Express, for that song. We're going to go into uh, four more in the tribals. Singing and then judges. We're gonna go Singing judges, Mike Goodrich, Brian Shepard, DJ Smith, Sapatiz Webster, Mark Denny. You should be at the drum right now. Iron Boy, the boys, Meskwaki Nation, and Young Firekeepers. Those are the four groups we have for intertribal. So let's give these guys out here a big round of applause. This has the, been the senior men's and women's categories. We're going to four intertribals. And then we're going right into the adult men and women category, fancy jingle grass traditional. And then we're going to the last three inner travels of the night, which will be Black Bear, Ho Chunk Nation, and Midnight Express. So that's our order. We're trying to get through everything. Big round of applause right now for our senior men's and women's categories. We just concluded their contest. They are excused. Ed, you got your singing judges in place. You have them all. Central Standard Inner Tribal Time is about to start. It is right now the after 10 Inner Tribal song. Are you ready? Looking for one more? Who isn't there? DJ Smith, Mike Goodridge, Brian Shepard, Sapatis Webster, and Mark Denny. Is that the one? All right, inner travel time right now. You've reached the 10 o'clock on Friday night, Iron Boy, inner travel. Let's fill up the arena. It's inner tribal time. We have a 
Cha-cha. All right. Thank you. Thank you. That was Iron Boy. Iron Boy with their contest inner travel. All right, judges move right on over to the next group. When our singing judges get in place, we're going to go to the boys with their inner travel. Once again, women's fancy and men's fancy, women's jingle, men's grass, women's and men's traditional. Your contest is on deck right after these inner travels. All right, looks like we're ready. Inner travel, the boys.
Oh, all right, all right. While well, the judges are getting in place, uh, also we got a shout out birthday for Winona Kingbird from Ron Good Eagle. It's her birthday today. He wanted to make sure that he told her that. That's his daughter. Say happy birthday. All right. As soon as uh, Ed says he's ready, we're going to go to the Meskwaki Nation. Also, a shout out to Leticia Pema. It's her birthday today. She's 19 again, she said. Okay, Ed, where's that hand? All right, inner travel time. Meskwaki Nation, give us your inner travel. Young fire keepers, you're on deck.
Ah, okay. Before we go to Young Firekeepers, we have a uh, responsibility that our arena director is going out to take care of. He's going to take a look at what we need to do. As soon as uh, Ron Good Eagle comes up here and lets us know what we're going to do. Uh Gus, Mr. Gus Frank, our arena director wants to see you out in the arena. Dennis Shepard, they'd like you to come out into the arena. Dennis Shepard. There he is. Come on over to the arena director. We have a feather down, the arena director, the powwow committee. They're going to figure out what they're going to do. The Polo Committee has asked for three veterans or three sun dancers. They are going to dance for this feather. And just a friendly reminder to each and every one of you around this arena, we know that many of you... Uh, have been at different gatherings where this responsibility that uh, we have to fulfill for this feather, for it represents, we say, a memory of one of our, our loved ones that has gone on. We say at that moment when we fulfill our responsibilities for such that the only way to do so is with the strength of memory of our eyes the strength of memory of our ears, and that we go with the strength and memory of our own way of telling people that this is what we do and how we take care of it. Alan Sparks, they want you out in the arena. Alan Sparks. So as we get forward, uh, get ready, prepared for this, to dance this, we ask you to turn your tape recorders off and your, your video cameras. 
We're going to uh, ask you to only record it in the most respectful way with your mind and your heart. And Ridge Runners has been asked to dance this song, to pick this feather up. They've been asked to give, the, give this song the responsibility and the honor of doing so. So we pause from everything else that we're doing to take care of this responsibility. We ask you as we get prepared to do so, as the song begins, we ask you to stand in the memory of the responsibility for this feather. As we go to Ridge Runners for picking up the feather.
We want to express that thank you also to our dancers that came out to fulfill that responsibility for this feathers. It was determined that it was the best thing to do was to dance, put this song in front of us to renew that memory, to honor that memory, make sure that we had it in the very best way. Check one, two. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Matakyopi Kosho Kantk, Matakyoase, all my relations. Austin Summers there was the young gentleman, he was dancing and his hoop fell and, the, and he had these two soldiers on there. So the veteran, we talked, and he feels awful uh, humble at this time. His sisters are with him. His uh, mother and dad are not here, but he's wants, he wanted Ivan to talk for him, but Ivan wanted me to step in and do it for him because uh, Austin here, he's kind of my, uh, uh, like an in-law of my, uh, my oldest son, Ronnie Jr. And, uh, he wears our, our grass dance outfit that me and Ron had. So we've been trying to help him out, but he just feels bad, but he wanted to give some uh, monetary gifts to the drum and the, uh, the four veterans. I mean, the, four, the two veterans and uh, two sun dancers. And he just wanted me to express himself for him to uh, thank the committee uh, for give them this time, appropriate time for what's supposed to be taking place here. So with that, I say, oh, metaculous. So I want to express that appreciation to those dancers and also to Mr. Ron Goodigo for putting that good understanding out in front of everybody as to why we paused and took care of that responsibility. We want to thank him for that. We're now going to return back to our inner tribals and that would be young fire keepers. But before we do, we have a few more words that are going to be shared with everybody here uh, before we move on with our program. Oh, Madaki, I'll be a chanteo, I stand up at Chizapolo. Zedkala, Luzaha, Hemielo, Itancha. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been asked to come forward and say a few words on behalf of the family here also. And I want to thank uh, nephews over there at the drum for uh, rendering that song. And Mr. Gus Frank wanted me to explain a little bit about that song and that pickup ceremony that was just held. Some years ago, on the, back home, there was a society made up of the red feather carriers of the Sioux Nation. There was only six of these elders that were left that earned these red feathers that you see them wear. And as time went on to be a member of that society, you had to be wounded three different times from three different battles to be in that society. So that society was so small because there wasn't very many warriors that lived 
through three different battles that were wounded. And these veterans of that society were the highest ranking members of this arena. So when they came to the powwow and something like this would happen, those men were in charge of those ceremonies. After the Vietnam War, one of our tribal members came home and he was honored by these gentlemen, these elders that were left. And they called upon myself and Mr. Steve Chargenigold, Tommy Rubadu, and Francis Menard. And we held this Red Feather Society ceremony and we presented this feather to a man that now walks in the spirit world by the name of Danny Redhorse. That song that was rendered tells about the original song is tells about one of their kolas was lost in the battle. So as they came out of battle, they turned around and they charged in looking for their friend. And they would, that song, they would sing, Kola Dokile, where are you, my friend? After those two push-ups, they sang a charging song. And they charged into battle four times. And on the fourth time of the charge, they picked that warrior up and brought him out to safety. So that's what the dance and the song represents. And the committee chairman here asked me to share that with you good people here. And the family here, Austin and his family, they have some monetary donations that was from themselves and from their friends and relatives that have come forward and helped him. And he would like to call those dancers and also the singers to come forward. He has some buzzers for you. So singers, if you come up, and also uh, the other three dancers, if you'd come forward. You know, sometimes, you know, when things like this happen, there's a reason for what takes place. And uh, sometimes we have to stop and regather ourselves to what's going on here. But it is also a good way to teach our young people some of the traditions of this arena that we have and that we share from nation to nation as tribes together here when we come to celebrate. So I want to thank all you young people that are out there that are sitting and listening, we want to say thank you to you because you are the ones that will carry on this tradition of our people. So once again, we'd like to have Chaske LeBlanc, the other veteran, come forward. They have a monetary donation for you. So on behalf of the Summers family here, I want to say I'm very honored once again to be allowed to say a few words and also to Mr. Gus Frank up there for asking me to do this. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for your time, your patience, and I'll turn it back over to our MCs. Ho for all of my relatives. Aho. Ho! Thank you, Mr. Terry Fiddler.
We are going to uh, return back to Inner Tribal now. I was also uh, asked to announce that the registration will open at 10 a.m. tomorrow. We have categories of contests yet to finish. We have one more Inner Tribal in our rotation that we're going to do right now. That Inner Tribal is Young Firekeepers. And then we're going to the Adult Women's and Men's Fancy Categories. Women's Jingle, Men's Grass, Women's Traditional, and Men's Traditional. So get yourself ready. We got one inner tribal and returning to contest. Young firekeepers, you have that inner tribal song. And then we come right back to them. They're in the rotation for contest as well. Young Firekeepers, you are now on the air. Inner Tribal, Adult Women's and Men's. Contest categories right after this Inner Tribal. Judges, stand by. Thank you. 
three young fire keepers. All right, we're going to clear the arena. We're staying uh, right now. We're going back, excuse me, we're going back to our contest categories. Women's Fancy will be in the arena, 18 to 35. Men's Fancy are on deck. Women's Jingle, Men's Grass, Women's Traditional, Men's Traditional. And then we're going back to Intertribal after those contest categories for Black Bear, Ho-Chunk Nation, and the last Intertribal of the Night, Midnight Express. So we need our judges to come forward. Dance judges, come out at this time. Women's Fancy in the arena, please. Women's Fancy in the arena. Rooster, they're still looking for you. Come up to the speaker stand. Oh, registration, excuse me. Registration is looking for Rooster. <laughs> Becky Warrington, they need you to serve as an alternate judge. Sarah Powasset, we need you to judge. Men's judges, stand by, get ready, we're coming to you next. Men's fancy category will be up. Young Firekeepers, you will be ready for the contest song for Women's Fancy when we call it out, so be ready. Miss Squawky Nation, you're on deck. Just all make sure everybody knows right where we're at so we get you ready. Are we ready? Move into the middle just a little bit, ladies, so the judges can know right where you're at. There you go, thank you very much. All right, looks like we're ready. Contest song, Young Firekeepers, Women's Fancy Category.